and unfortunately I don't know if the spider is going to live because it keeps looking like it's going to die so I'm just going to very gently she maybe I can show you in the bowl because because it's a white background we might actually yes that's working perfectly what I want to show you is the contrast now this is um, I, mean, I apologize my hands are filthy as well from wiping the car and doing all sorts of wonderful things I'm going to quickly play a quiz. So who can tell me what spider this is? Hashtag Safari Live with your guesses. But you've got to be very, very quick on the mark. And then we'll start talking about it. So take some screenshots. Share them. If you're uncertain, there is a very easy way to identify the spider. Megan, do you know what spider it is? Alice? Connor? Anybody in final control can guess too? Ew, sorry. I just don't want to touch it. I'm going to quickly, ah, it's a venomous spider, so I'm not going to let it walk on me. So I'm just going to let it walk on the edge of that um, a container there. Sorry, I panicked for a moment. I don't want to get bitten by this one. Let me see if I can turn the bowl around slightly so we can get its front end. Smile for the camera spider. There we go. That's a bit better. How great is this? Megan, any answers coming through yet either? Bree Bree, you've said a sand spider, like S-A-N-D, Megan. Uh -uh, don't come here. No, unfortunately, close, not a sand spider. You see, it doesn't look very well. I found it in the shower, and I took it out as soon as I could. It didn't get wet. It was on the shower curtain, in fact. So I, I don't know if, why, what could have caused it. It almost looks like it is going to die, so I'm not too hopeful about the survival of this it looks like it's struggling to use its back legs slightly come spider I'm going to release you see it's it's not looking too well which is a bit sad but that's what happens unfortunately when spiders and things although it's waking up no 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 that's definitely not going to fall on my legs oh man I've lost it <laughs> me remove myself from the car so Megan I'm just going to take my earpiece out very quickly I have to find the spider I can't drive with it in the car make sure it's not on me now okay let me plug my earpiece back in what a disaster hmm oh I can see it Bundy Birda you said a violin spider no not a violin spider it's not as venomous as a violin spider. Very hot. You've said a termite spider. No, come here. Don't please don't go in there. It isn't. We'll have one more. I need to fetch a piece of grass to try and coax it out. Ah, there we go. There's the right answer I've been looking for. James, you've said a sack spider. Aha, uh -huh, that's exactly what this is. And you'll know why I don't want to get bitten by it. Don't, let me put it back up there again in its bowl. Let me climb back in now. And I'm going to release it in a moment. Actually looks like maybe it's going to come back, from, um, come back alive again. It looks quite active all of a sudden. But there it is in there. So it is indeed a sack spider. I, I talk often about these spiders because these are the ones that dislike my brother. I'm so sorry. I just don't want to be bitten by it. Uh, these are the ones my brother talks about on a regular basis or I talk about. My brother's been bitten by them many times. I've been bitten by them a few times. I think they actually cause some of the, the most common bites in, the, in sort of a household in South Africa. Very easy to identify, that black mandible. You see that? You see look how dark the front of their head is? And then that cream color. And that's how you know it is a sack spider. And it is, it's not a nice spider to have. It's got a cytotoxin. And, and I'm not surprised about where I found it in the shower on the curtain because that's typically where they will make their webs. <laughs> Tula Ann, you've said that this is a yucky spider. It is indeed a yucky spider. They're not too bad. They're not ones to be scared of, but you don't want to be bitten by them because a cytotoxin, so that's the type of venom that it has, it causes necrosis. So Tula Ann, what necrosis means is that it causes rotting 
of, uh, of the skin. So it basically kills all of your flesh and you can be left with a very big hole in your leg or your arm or wherever it's bitten you. So that's why you don't want to be bitten by one of these. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to let it out. But you, you find them everywhere in houses. They make um, a web that's quite flat. And like I said, I'm not surprised that I saw it on the shower curtain. You'll see, often find them actually in, on curtains or sort of against the corners of walls where it will make its web. So just one that you shouldn't touch. Not as venomous as the violin or the, you know, the brown button spider or black button spider, any of those. But um, one to just keep an eye out for. So let me put it out. Now I'm going to unplug very quickly. I need to try and put it somewhere. It's not going to get eaten. So I'm actually going to put it at the base of this tree. Go away flies. I'm trying to save a spider. Wish I could feed those flies to the spider. That would be nice because they're upsetting me today. Okay, now I need to climb back in again. Right, spider rescue done and